cracking pot. Just wants the white to hold up. Just now, it's just a matter of whether he plays for the loose ones or goes into them. He's into them. Where's that red? It stayed out, but can he get to it? I don't think he can. There's one to the right centre. It's slightly awkward queuing to get to the cue ball. Well, he's looking at this one. No problem. Well, he deserved to pot one after the brown. And this is a good chance now. already had seven centuries this season which has only just begun really made two maximums last season to take his total tally up to seven he's got to uh, some cufflinks from world snooker at the awards do for that all the 147 makers of course there are many these days that's what they get of course they also get the prize money that they won at the time it's up to thirty thousand uh, pounds in this tournament, on the rolling bonus for a maximum, and that means that if no one gets one when the players go to Australia next month, it'll be up to 35,000. Plus the cufflinks. Well, that shot has certainly opened things up now. All these reds go. Up until that shot, they were all covering one another. Play a little cannon to the two reds above the black and to the left of it. Certainly looking a lot better than he did at the World Championship. He seemed to get very flustered in that match against Mark Davis, which, of course, he did lose 10-6. But signs already this season that he's back to his old self, of course, uh, the victory in Bulgaria. 
beat Ronnie O'Sullivan and Neil Robertson there. Delightful little cannon that's developed those three reds. So I just need to keep going for a few more pots here to get the frame one. Red in the colour required. Well, this could be tricky. If the pink doesn't spot, it goes behind the white and he would have been out of position, but fortunately... ...in the spot. Deng Shi Hao has just gone on John Higgins' Christmas card list. Oh, wait a minute. He's just taken him off. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sure he put the measure on the spot, didn't he? Well, would you believe it? 64 points in front, but still plenty left on the table. Tough pot this to the middle if he decides to take it on. And he is doing. Oh, yes, what a great pot. Bye. And just needs this black now. Well, Neil Robertson did something similar. In the match previous, when the going got tough, he really buckled down and pulled out some really good shots. Well, that was another great player there, pulling out that difficult pot to the middle, which has won him this frame. Yeah, and a couple of months back, that little scenario there with the pink, that could have done his head in, but uh, he knows he's playing well, feels really confident, and a uh, terrific red that he got, and the frame is his. Of course, all the other players are going to have something to say, but uh, we're kind of heading towards another Higgins-Robertson final, by the looks of things. Robert Milkins is standing in the way of Neil in the semis. Joe Perry, Matthew Stevens, David Morris, of course, in this half, standing in John Higgins' way, but at the moment, put it this way, if I was going to put money on it, which I'm not, but if I was, that would be the final that I would predict. I don't think there'll be many people that disagreed with you. I bet there will. <laughs> there usually is. Now then, he's up to 96 here. He was 43 on, so he can just beat the high break, which is 138. He holds that at the moment with Davy Morris. Not you, Sarah. Ah. That was a surprise. So the break ends at 97. 